Let's get him out. Cause he has to, does he see uh, what's at the top? Is, is that a cowboy hat? He is so happy. Him. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good enough. Princess. Yeah, baby. You know what, my love? We did have some. I I think in in TJ's uh, toiletry kit, there's some on the inside pocket. Pocket. Park. What Anthony is talking about? What's that, Mama? Anthony. How you doing, Francis? Not so good. But I think tomorrow he'll be better. Whenever my hair dries, it's. Poor guy. <laughs> He's been sick, sick long. Come here, buddy. No, he needs to drink. Drink You can sit on me for all I care. I don't care. I will hold you, but you have to drink water, baby. I need to get to a natural. Good job, babe. No, no, no. One more time, and then you can lay back down. Drink water. Oh my goodness. This no. Just breathe. You're fine. You don't have to put it in your mouth. Okay? It's okay. What is this, Randy? It's a breathing treatment. What does it do? It helps. No, no, you don't have to put it in your mouth. I'll just hold it right here. Just breathe normal, okay? It's okay, buddy. It's okay. And yep, I'll clean your nose in a minute. Don't worry about your nose. <coughs> Good job. See, all that's helping. Flow. Flow, baby. Okay. After not seeing any type of improvement, we decided to take Rio to the emergency room. You know, it's never easy to see your kids struggling, especially during a pandemic. Because then you start thinking, is it COVID? Well, it wasn't COVID. It was bronchitis. So with more breathing treatments and some antibiotics, it wouldn't be too long before Rio was back to his normal self. Hang in there, little man. All is gonna be okay. Yes, still coughing. He's feeling better though. So after real doctor's appointment, his urgent care ER visit, we are getting him a toy from Target. So he did really well, has bronchitis, and we're getting medication. Francis is already in the building at CVS getting medication, and we're gonna go get a toy. And yes, we are blessed. Ah, back to the country. Look at all those beautiful animals in the greenery. I'm so grateful that my kids get to experience this. The horses. You can ride the horses if you want. What's the donkey's name, Rio? Gabriel. Gabriel loves you. He's more like a pet. He is like a pet. Buddy. Can we ride the horses, Mom? Yes. So you gotta let him know when you're coming by him so he doesn't get scared and kick. If you let him know that you're coming, they already know so they won't they won't kick. Okay. So just stay in front of him. He's following me. I'm scared. <laughs> that was your first time seeing a donkey up close? That's so cool. Remember the donkey in Shrek? And it says, and then in the morning, I'm making. Waffles. <laughs> yeah. What's what you needed, baby? This. So I could show Emmy all the horses and cows, and I think we're, oh. Try it, buddy. Okay. Rio, do you remember what his name was? Um, no. What are you doing right here, Rio? 
I think I'm talking to someone. Okay, what about here? I'm uh, I'm gonna drive a tractor. With Uncle Santos? Yep. Did you like doing that? Yeah. Was it scary? No. You look a little scared. I'm not. I was not. That's pretty cool. You're smiling right now. You like watching this? Yeah. Look at you, Rio. You look like you're having so much fun. It really was a lot of fun. Bye, Rio. Bye. Thank you, Uncle Santos. How was it? How was it? Was it fun? It was a very cool ride. And let me tell you all the stuff we saw. So we saw a beautiful lake. Oh. And we saw two dogs. Okay. And we also saw a cobweb on the way back. Now it's my turn to go on the tractor ride with Uncle Santos. I love Texas because I get to do stuff that I would never do back in California. The ride wasn't too scary at all. In fact, it was a lot of fun. Where we're going, I don't know, but it was super fun. It was definitely different than anything I've ever done before. We didn't go very fast, but it was still really enjoyable for me. Gracias, Tío Santos, for my first ride ever on a tractor. We are finally, finally leaving Texas. Kids are half asleep. It's 6.20 in the morning, and we are making our way to Tennessee. So we're going to go through Arkansas, and then to Memphis, and then Nashville. But our first stop today is to Paris, Texas. Right, Rio? Are you excited? Yes. We are ready. We are if you are wondering how many pumps Bucky's has, because yes, it's a lot of pumps. The answer is 64. As they say, everything is bigger in Texas. That is for sure. So we are just minutes away from Paris, Texas, which is a place that Rio, the little monster, who's eating his donuts, found on his iPad. He's the one who said, did you know that there's an Eiffel Tower in Paris, Texas? And we were like, what? Rio, are you excited? Oh, I see it. You Good. see it? Yep. We go, are Rio. at Paris, Texas. We are in Paris, Texas at the Eiffel Tower and look, he's starting to smile. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's a little bit better than I thought it would be. Let's get him out. Does he, have to, does he see oh. what's at the top? Is, is that a cowboy hat? Hey, you could have got this on your blog, Joji. <gasps> Honey, did you put his shoes down here? Yes, they are. All right. Again, this is a spot that Rio found and has been wanting to go. So, what do you say? Dad? Do you say? Do Look what Rio's shirt says, and I didn't. I got that in California, not even Texas. Nike, Texas. Man, look at this guy. He is so happy. This is the best thing on my whole entire trip, the Texas Eiffel Tower. I loved being there. It was very fun, and that's more than 30 feet tall. That's pretty tall for a six years old. I loved being there. It was so fun. It was my favorite part of the day, going to the Texas Eiffel Tower. This is awesome because he's been wanting so badly to come here. And you guys know, if you follow us, you know how much he loves the Eiffel Tower. And if you don't follow us, make sure to subscribe now um, and like the video. But yes, Rio is loving every minute being in Paris, Texas. Paris is his favorite city in the world. And uh, for now he has to settle for Paris, Texas, but he's enjoying it, so it's really cool. I seen uh, on Yelp, um, uh, people that were here sleeping up the Eiffel Tower, so like this. 
His smile is so big right now. It's super cool to see. And we were here early because we're on our drive, so we are the only ones here. So we're getting all this time here in Paris, Texas. But if you are driving um, through either from Arkansas to Dallas or Arkansas to Texas or vice versa, stop through Paris, Texas. It's a really cool spot to come see. Go ahead, Ria. So why the cowboy boy hat into up there is because that it's Texas. Yeah, the cowboy hat represents Texas. And what does the red stand for, Dad? Ooh. The love. Do they, they don't want to wake up? Ooh, Jojo. <coughs> the Eiffel Tower. Come on, my love. Seriously, what time did you go to bed? There are 13 stars, so mm. I think it's the 13 colonies. Okay. That was my instinct. I'm going with it. Do you know where Daddy's favorite basketball team is from? Oh, what city is that? San Antonio. Yes. Very that was cool. us. They're doing a road trip, but you guys didn't want to do it. <laughs> he's what? the real Eiffel Tower. He's going to be impressed. He's not, he's going to want to spend the whole day there. Yeah, and, and we have to go on a day where he can go to the top. Because when we were there last time, we couldn't go to the top. Have any of your kids ever been this into architecture like this? No. Rio's the first. I appreciate it because he teaches us a lot. Yeah. That's super cool. Uh, that hat kind of looks like it's made see. from a cartoon. That hat looks fake. You like that? Oh, don't move the picture. I want to see it. Oh. You like that it? That hat looks fake. So also in Paris, Texas is a little memorial. A World War II memorial. So Rio and I are walking over there to, to check it out. This was a world title baby. Yeah. WW means World War. The I, I means two. So it's World War Two. So WWI is World War One. WW Two is I I. WW I I is World War Two. Look, I told you there were statues over here. The statue is to honor all dogs and handlers from all wars, as they saved countless lives. That the dogs would help people um, survive. Pretty impressive, pretty cool, huh? I wish I would have could have gotten my dad a little bench. Yeah. That would have been cool. Which, which I didn't even know this place existed. Which war was your father in? Um, Vietnam. He was a paratrooper. Army. So do you see the, the helicopters on here? So your grandpa, my dad, used to jump out of those helicopters yeah, but and land on the ground. I can't see him on here. No, I know he's not on there, but those helicopters like that and the airplanes, that's what my dad would jump out of and land on the ground. So he had a parachute, but they would be flying. But this is the war that your grandfather, my dad, served in. Look, these are actual pictures. These are actual pictures. This has been a good day. I never expected not only Rio to enjoy it as much as he has, but seems to have really uh, been good for uh, good for uh, Francis. So Rio, what did you what did you think about your experience here, Judy? Will you move that pillow, please? It was the greatest experience ever? Why? I've never been to the Eiffel Tower. What's cool is we're going from a small Eiffel Tower to a bigger one to the biggest and best Eiffel Tower, the real one. Can I tell you what's cool? Yes. Rio found the Eiffel Tower in Vegas. Eiffel Towers. He found the, the Eiffel Tower in Vegas and showed me that there's a restaurant and that said that you and me and him can go eat there and he said mommy doesn't this food look good we should go there and stay at that hotel that's an eiffel tower in vegas mm -hmm. all right